Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another furniture update. I apologize, I'm sick right now. And uh, this is why this video was actually delayed. But nonetheless, we're going to be taking a look at a new piece of furniture. And this is the cabinet. Now maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't, but this piece of furniture has had a complete makeover. A brand new model. We got new sounds. We got new everything. I don't want to spoil it too much because I want to show you in this video today. But hopefully you guys are excited for this update showcase today. And if you are, I'd appreciate if you go ahead, drop a like down below. And also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my furniture mod updates. But let's go ahead, let's get into this video now. Alrighty then, now before we start this video today, if I do sound a little bit under the weather, that is because I am, uh, this video would have came out a couple of days ago if I didn't happen to get sick, so I apologise if there is any sort of sniffing, coughing in this video, I'll try to cut it out if it does happen, um, but yeah, we're back in my world here, and have a look at this before we, before we go ahead and check it out, have a look at this, our mansion is starting to come together, we've got we're taking advantage of the stripped oak coffee table here and the brand new stripped oak chair and this is part of uh, the previous or the first update of the furniture mod for 1.14.3 but today we are checking out a brand new piece of furniture uh, which you've already seen from the intro of this video and this is the brand new cabinet Cray Industries is back, Cray Kia is back it's gray now <laughs> i thought i would just do it in a gray color uh we have young greg protecting the uh, the chest here making sure nobody steals you know because as you can see craig here it's currently closed so this package out the front of it you know it's been sitting here for a while he's been guarding it but uh i think it's time to get off now you hop off and now it's time to check out the brand new cabinets now again from the intro, I said these were complete, they had a complete makeover. So I basically rewrote, I rewrote this entirely from scratch. I created a brand new model. It's got new sounds. There's so many cool things with this uh, and this brand new cabinet. So let's go ahead, let's get it out now. So we've got all the variants. We got oak, we got spruce, we got birch. Uh, let's keep going, let's just keep going ahead to grab all these out. Plus, we have the brand new stripped variant, so this is due to 1.14 adding in stripped oak. <coughs> There's that cough I was talking about. But, as I was saying, 1.14 introduced stripped oak logs, and they provide a really nice texture for furniture, and allows me to add in brand new variants so you guys can decorate your houses with even more customization. Boom! There we go, so, first thing that you'll most likely notice about the cabinet model is it's a lot more basic now, and this is due to the fact that in my furniture mod I want to kind of strive for a Minecraft theme. If I was to go ahead and put the cabinet down and then put one of the oak chairs next to it, you can see how well these pieces of furniture kind of work together like they feel like a family like it doesn't feel like these are two separate mods it actually feels like you know these are together and you know it's a part of a a set it's a part of a set the oak furniture set um and uh, the previous cabinet didn't really have that feeling uh, it's a lot more basic now but there's one really cool thing about this which the previous uh furniture mod didn't have so uh, let's go ahead and let's right click this now. We got storage, we got storage, but maybe you haven't noticed it. The door of the cabinet now actually opens up. How cool is that? So, depending on how many players are actually viewing this, so if another player was in this inventory at the same time, uh, the door would actually stay open if you left it and they were continuing to, you know, take items from it. So we can open it up, 
I can close it. Hang, let me go ahead and turn up them sounds. Let's just boost it to 100 real quickly. Woo! It's a beautiful sound. It actually works perfectly with it. It's a nice, uh, very, very clean sound. Uh, let's pop that back to 30% there. I know some of you guys will be thinking that this is quite a basic model, but this is kind of what I want to go for. I want it to feel a little bit more like Minecraft. A lot of the Minecraft models for instance, do not overcomplicate the model at all. All right, let's go ahead. Let's place the other variants down so we can take a look at uh, all of them and get a really cool idea of what they all look like. And I'm not gonna lie, all the kind of wood types look pretty cool. Even the birch, I'm really surprised, but the birch doesn't look too bad on this one. I mean, it's still probably the worst one out of them, out of them all, but I don't mind it too much. Uh, so yeah, those are all the normal woods. Let's go onto the stones here. So with the regular stone, we have the granite, diorite, and then finally the last one is the andesite. And then finally we have the stripped log variant. So we have the oak one. Ooh, looking good. Stripped spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and the dark oak. So let's take a look at this again, so I forgot to mention, but yeah, it has a 18 slot inventory to store your items in it. In the previous version of the uh, the furniture mod, it only had, I think, I think it had a 3x3. I can't actually remember. <laughs> it's funny, it's my own mod, and I don't, I can't even remember. Maybe it's because I'm sick, I can't, my brain's not processing straight right now. My voice sounds really disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully you guys... Uh, can hear it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm hoping you guys can hear it. Um, let's go ahead. Let's open these all up. Ooh, that's looking good. I'm just, I love the sound. I'm not gonna lie. That sound is really satisfying. Like, I could just sit here for the 10 minutes of this video so I can get monetized just by opening up the, uh, the cabinet door and closing it. Should I do that? <laughs> All right, let's continue down the line here. I'm just like showing you guys what it kind of like looks like on the inside. I wish um, I might like put a screenshot, a screenshot up of uh, a pause frame here so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like when the uh, cabinet door is open because it doesn't really last for too long. So this animation is actually going to be a standard throughout my mod now. So things like the fridge, the oven, the bedroom, the bedroom, ca uh, bedside cabinets, anything that, you know, should have an animation is going to have an animation now. And uh, I'm really excited for the future of the, the furniture mod, guys. I really like that you guys are kind of accepting of this, you know, opportunity that I have to rewrite the entire mod. Like, I know there's a couple of pe that people out there that are kind of like, you know, why aren't you updating it? But it's because... I want to rewrite everything from scratch, write the code better. Um, like this cabinet alone, I probably spent a good day writing this. Um, there's a lot involved with making this perfect. Um, I don't want to miss it out. I want to, you know, use my new, no use my knowledge that I know about Minecraft modding and make sure I apply everything to every single area. That includes like the models, the sounds, the code, Everything I want it to be like up to my standards. Can I just break? I'm just gonna break it. I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it guys uh, The only thing we might have a little bit of problem with is the uh, Is these here, but I think we can uh, we can replace them Now we just have some floating tools tools around here. Ah, look at this some spruce slabs which might actually work with it straight away. Oh That's perfect Let's go ahead. Let's uh, place these down here. Uh, what's that? Young, young Greg, is this your den? What, what? Did you dig this hole out? What the heck? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Is that like a secret tunnel system he's built? I really don't know. All right, that's cool. Let's go ahead. Let's place it back on here. So a really cool thing just to like note about this is. Uh, the cabinets is you can only open them from the front if you actually go ahead and you try to right click it on the side it's not going to open so you do have to right click the front of the cabinet in order to open and access 
the inventory. Ooh, that's looking good. I think we might go for straight spruce here, actually. So let's go ahead, let's place that like that. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. And let's go ahead, let's replace the tripwire real quickly. Yo, that is looking fresh. That is actually looking fresh. So we can access these. How cool. To, just look at the animation. I love that. I love that so much. Did I really forget to show you guys how to craft this? No, I didn't. Uh, maybe I did, but let's go ahead. I'm going to teach you guys how to actually craft these cabinets. Uh, now, I do recommend you install like a mod, like just enough items so you can see all the recipes. But for the people back at home, uh, in order to craft the wood ones, you're going to need the planks and then the logs. So whatever one that you want, just go grab out the uh, the planks and the logs for them. For the stone ones, it's a little bit different. So for stones like andesite, diorite and granite, you're going to need the regular and then the polished version. Um, the stone one uses cobblestone and just regular stone. And then finally the stripped uses um, the stripped oak wood and then it uses the log, just the regular log. So let's go ahead, let's craft these right now. So place that down and in order to craft it we do like a C like that. Logs at the front and then you'll get two um, cabinets. Let's do the andesite. So the C with the regular and then the polished as the door. Let's do the stone. Cobblestone as the C, stone as the door. And then finally the stripped oak. So C with the stripped oak and then oak log. And that doesn't give you it. I'll most likely have a patch out before I actually release this update to you guys. So don't worry if the, uh, the recipe didn't work for the stripped oak. But I think that's going to end off this video today. This update is now available to download. Um, so the download link is in the description below. I will also put a link in the description below on how to actually install the furniture mod because maybe some of you guys have never installed mods before. I'm going to put a tutorial down below. And it's also a good time to end this video off because my throat and my voice is not liking this too much. So I don't want to spend uh, too much longer talking on camera. If you haven't as well already, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys for the next video. Bye.